How's it going everybody? It's been a while since I've uploaded a video and I can kind of give a little bit of an update at the end but for this video I mainly wanted to kind of talk about my current uh, goat deck as well as like say like some things that I'm going to change. Um, I'm going to be re-sleeving it. So right now I have double sleeve character guard sleeves with Bushiroad over sleeves and I'm just going to single sleeve it with these dragon shield mats because we had our first official GOAT tournament at my locals this last Monday. Main reason why I am going back to single sleeving is because it's really annoying to try to shuffle this deck um, and playing like long tournaments. I want to be able to kind of like maybe switch in and out cards a little bit easier if I'm like siding or using cards for multiple things. So double sleeving was nice, but now that we're playing more frequently, I'm going to kind of go with single sleeving. So to start off the deck, Sinister Serpent, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's goat control. And I would say like mine's close to standard. I just have some tech cards that I personally like playing. Um, but for the most part, it's a goat deck in the goat format. So one Sinister, I play two Faith, and then one Merchant. Looking at it now, I might play two because it's been a while since I've like just looked at the deck. But I never see it and I never really miss it. I don't want like a ton of flip cards because I also play Dekoichi. Uh, but one's fine. And then two faith is I feel like pretty standard. And then I play Morphing Jar because Morphing Jar is like amazing. Um, this is kind of in order of like levels because I didn't know how to like kind of group it because there's a lot of one ofs. Um, so I play Sangan because Sangan searches you serpent. Uh, and then basically I have a bunch of level fours. So in our tournament, we weren't playing Xerion and we were playing priority. And so Blade Knight was like my swap out for Xerion and I've been playing this for a while. I really like it, but now that I've played against Abyss Soldier, I feel like that might be a better card. So I might keep this and trade out Exiled Force because this was the second Xerion and put Abyss Soldier in this spot. I haven't really decided yet, but I really like this card. It's a good top deck if you get to the point where you just have nothing. And then this Al's just about everything. Uh, I play one Dekoichi, just as another flip, as well as I was summoning this a lot to just attack because it was 1400 and people didn't want to like flip their mirror forces or they didn't want to flip their Sakuretsu armors. So they would just take the 14 and then Next turn or two, I would end up getting rid of their face downs. So it was pretty good. Uh, DD Warrior Lady is pretty standard. It gets rid of problematic cards. Breaker, just about anybody during this format plays Breaker. Um, you just call priority and then you can break their stuff. Uh, Tribe is pretty good. Um, so most people either are or aren't playing Azure Priest. I like it just because it gets rid of the goats with no Xerion in the format that we are playing. Uh, this just kind of just gets rid of a lot of stuff on the field. Play one Tsukiyomi, some people play two. I kind of am playing the Azure Priest in place of the second. I never really liked opening this. It's good like after turn one in my opinion, so I just kind of run one. Could run two, but I only have one ulti, so that's my excuse. Um, and then I have one Air Knight. I feel like playing two might be a little bit better just to have another Tribute Summon monster, but I feel like a lot of my just regular fours do good enough on the field. And so I haven't decided yet if I want to put a second one in. And then for the two higher ones, BLS, because it's the best monster. And then I'm playing one Demok. Um, it's good and bad. Normally, anytime I see it in my hand, I'm using it to discard or it's getting discarded off of Graceful Charity or something. So it's almost always in the grave for me to bring back. And then I just kind of plus from there on. So I really like it. It's a card that I grew up liking, so I kind of play it just more so for fun, but it's also pretty good as long as it doesn't sit in your hand. So that's it for the monsters. I don't know how many it is, but it's a 40 card deck. And then you play the Holy Trinity, at least I do. You know, if you're not, then I don't know what you're doing. And then I play two Book of Moon. Um, I really like Book of Moon. I don't think you would ever want more than two. You could get away with one, but I'm playing two because I'm only playing one Tsukiyomi. Uh, I'm playing two Noblemen. If I'm siding, then these are like easy side out cards, but for the most part, they're great, especially with like Book and Tsukiyomi, and just in general, gets rid of a lot of stuff. 
Uh, I'm playing two meta with one goat. So this is where my list will be a little bit different. I only like one goat just because I don't want to rely on it so much. And I don't even use my metamorphosis on my goats very often. It just doesn't kind of coincide. But overall, I don't really want more than one just because I don't want to rely on it. So that's just, that's just how I like playing, I guess. And then I play heavy uh, MST, um, just back row removal. Um, I main deck Lightning Vortex just because a lot of people will rely on their goats or just try to overextend. And then if you just have this in hand, it just kind of like wipes everything and then you can gain advantage off of just your one monster if all of their stuff is gone. And then the last two equips are Premature and Snatch Steel. They shouldn't really need any explanation. So for the traps, I played two Dust. I think I might take one of these out and put in a seven Tools of the Bandit. Just because I opened two of these, I think two games, and one of them was against Chain Burn, so it really didn't do anything. And then uh, like two, two is good, so maybe like side one. But I think main decking a seven tools might just kind of catch people off guard. Either that, or I'm gonna run just another beater monster. I just didn't really think two was necessary for at least this this last tournament. Um, Call of the Haunted. Uh, Sakuretsu armor. I only play one. I only really want one. Most people will think you have two. So after you go through the one, they'll fear a lot of your other back row thinking it's the second one. Uh, Ring of Destruction, Mirror Force, Trenchal, and then the last card is Spell Shield Type 8. And I really like this card. Um, basically, if someone activates a spell that targets exactly one monster on the field, you can just negate it. So if they Book of Moon one of your monsters, or if they Nobleman your monster. Uh, it's just like for free, or you can negate any spell card by discarding a spell. And so I use it a lot, comes up a lot, and people don't really know that it's there. So if they're trying to make their extension move or protection move with the other goats or whatever else, you can just negate it and it's really good. Um, so that's basically it for the deck. For the extra deck, really the only thing you need is some nice Ugandan tokens, or you can just use your generic sheep tokens. But the only thing I made uh, this last tournament was just one thousand eyes. It wasn't even that special. It just it lasted like a turn. But normally when I'm playing, Dark Balter is another monster that I like sometimes make, and then I've made Reaper of the Nightmare a few times, which is like kind of fun. And then these are just like other cards that I have. None of them I really make, but they're there just in case I need to. But for the most part, all you really need is Thousand Eyes, and then most people will say that you should play this. But that's basically it for the deck. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, and I can kind of help you. It's gaining a lot of popularity and just, I guess, speed overall. Um, but I just picked up some cards from my cousin. Shout out to him. Uh, so I'm going to probably do a video of me sleeving up the deck in the new sleeves and then uh, change it up a little bit. So check out that if you're interested. And then just to kind of give a little bit of an update. So I moved like three weeks ago. The main reason why I haven't done videos is things have just been really busy. Uh, I had family come into town, help out with the house, um, just like still kind of moving, unpacking, doing yard work. A bunch of adult stuff and uh, finally everything's kind of like calmed down and I was able to finally play Yu-Gi-Oh again and so here we are I'm doing a deck profile and then I'll do an ASMR video for those people that like ASMR stuff so videos are returning slowly but surely I will try to go back to doing at least two videos a week that's kind of been my schedule per se I do have two of the pyramid should all mats in the mail uh, they just finally gave me my shipping notification yesterday. So I'll have two different ones of those to review probably in the next week or so when those come in. And then I have some older decks that I can do deck profiles of if you guys want to see those. Um, me and some buddies have been playing like 2015 should all format as well as we're playing uh, 2014 where it was hat nationals format. And then just some overall just just fun stuff. Uh, throwing, it, throwing it back. It seems to be more popular and I think it's going to gain popularity the longer that Konami is deciding not to do events. Uh, just modern Yu-Gi-Oh is just getting really stale 
and everybody keeps complaining about Winda because they're on crack. So anyway, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can go ahead and comment down below. And uh, if you guys want, you can follow me on Instagram. It's just Spade Avalon, like the channel name. Uh, I post some photos there if you guys like seeing cosmetic stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. It's kind of long, but thank you guys for watching. And I am back to doing videos, so I'll see you later.